So uh, Taylor looked pretty sharp. How did you see him? He, he did. He, he uh, you know, still a little more out of him, you know, getting in and out of the huddle. But it uh, was good knowing, knowing, where the, knowing where to go with the ball. He did a good job of, uh, of uh, placing the ball. I thought his accuracy was pretty good for the most part. Uh, made a couple nice throws on the deep ball, so I was encouraged. It was. How is his uh, Burnett and uh, Hirschman? Hirschman is doing well. You know, Hirschman. It, Mad at him about that ball he threw out of bounds. We got the PI on. But, yes. Well, that ain't no PI. <laughs> right, right. I tell you what, if, I'm, if that's on us and I'm on defense, I'm gonna lose it on the, on the, on the officials on that. But uh, uh, he's doing well. He, he he's doing better. I just want him to be more assertive. You know, I want him to to uh, really just you know be more aggressive. I think he needs to trust himself. But he hasn't quite turned it loose. for 248 yards, three touchdowns. Is he not clearly the starting quarterback at this point? Well, you know, Cordell did something like that against Baylor, and he had Coy breathing down his throat, right? So uh, uh, I wouldn't say clearly yet. Uh, you know, I'm going to evaluate this through. Um, but like I said to you guys yesterday, if, if it's at the end of spring, it's still like this, then yeah, we'll go with Tyler. And then if, if Nick still has time to close the gap, and if he closes it, then then we'll let this thing continue. But I'm not going to uh, uh, play those games like, oh, I don't know who's going to do it and going to do all that stuff. Believe me, if, if Tyler continues like he has, if Nick don't start picking up a little bit, then you know Tyler will probably be uh, number one.